Welcome back, Warriors. Another episode of Figure Warriors 2. And I'm driving to the store, but I figured I'd do a video. <clears throat> One of the good questions that we had, and once again, thank you for all the questions, the ideas um, that we get. All kinds of great questions. And I have another, another set of uh, ideas to talk about <laughs> as we go through this. Had a good response on the Fountain of Youth. I think I'll do another one on that one as well. But go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for all the comments that we've had. The one question today that we had that I'm going to talk about is the idea of can you have too much power? We talked about this in Endowment Power 1. Can you have too much power? What happens when you're overloading your circuits, right? So overloading energy, that's what you have. You have this when it comes to uh, your purpose, right? So how do you, what do you do with that? And some people, especially if you're younger, you're going to see immense, immense type of power that you have. So how do you deal with that, my friends? All right, well, Warriors, let's kind of deal with this from a sense of looking at the battlefield. First of all, you're going to be on a battlefield, right? You're going to have people who are stronger. Some people are going to be a little bit less strong. Not that they're not strong, less strong but you're going to have all kinds of power. So what do warriors do when they have a lot of power? Well, they try to use it in constructive ways so that they become even stronger, right? So I know I know it's a, it's frustrating when you have so much power and you're almost ready to explode, right? But this is the time to be able to transmute that energy up. To be able to say, "Okay, I'm going to use all this power in a positive way because the alternative is to lose your power. And I tell you guys, it's terrible to do that because you're going to lose your energy. What makes you powerful is saving your energy and not losing it. And that's what you want to do when it comes to um, when it's overloaded, you get frustration. You may feel like, oh, I have to go ahead and, and you know get rid of this energy. No, you need to transmute the energy. And transmute means getting th interested in things. So, for instance, there's lots of things you can do. Exercising is one thing. Going ahead and going through a lot of exercising. I do weightlifting. I walk. I do some running. I do a bunch of different things at my age to kind of transmit. Every time I think of something that could uh, cause me to lose energy, I'm filling it with some other time of doing something else. Listening to music is also a good one. Relaxing. I do meditation and prayer. You can, Whether you believe in prayer or not, you can still do meditation. You can still kind of just be at peace with yourself, okay? And calm down. Take some breathing, deep breaths, in and out. I like to hold one nostril, breathe in, switch it over to the other nostril and breathe out. This gets you to move that energy up through the spine, which is what you're trying to do. You're trying to move that energy from down there, up there. Remember the chakras we talked about? The chakra is down there. You need to kind of get that moving up the spine because that's where all the chakras are. And the, the kundalini, all that stuff is working together. And and whether you call it, you know, brahmacharya or kundalini, all these kind of stuff, you still have the same principle. And I believe it's true. And if you can transmute that energy back up, then you can use it for great purposes. And it's going to help you in, in fighting disease. It's going to help you in a lot of those things that you know people don't realize how powerful this is. So when you've got that, all this energy, it can get frustrating to not be able to use it. But you really going to want to use it to the point where you can really handle the energy that you have. And what, another thing you can do, obviously, is... You know, get involved with activities, doing stuff around the house, getting involved with activities around the uh, neighborhood you're in. Go ahead and just get involved because the more you're involved, the less time you're going to be thinking about all this other stuff and possible temptation to go ahead and uh, relapse, right? And so what you really want to do is kind of say to yourself, okay, I have all this abundance of energy. How am I going to use it? I would get a pad of paper. And I would say, these are the goals I'm going to try to achieve tomorrow. Knowing that I'm on another day of my journey and that it's temptations just around the corner. Somebody could be walking down the street. Could be some kind of picture you see on TV. Could be something that just pops up on your internet. 
you need to kind of think to yourself, okay, how am I going to fill this time up? And at first, it seems like it's just kind of filling time. Well, you are. You're getting your mind away from the idea of temptation. And once again, the mind cannot think of two things at the same time. In the law of physics, you cannot think of two things at the same time. You can think of fear or um, being brave, one or the other. You can't, you're gonna switch over, right? You can't, you can't do both. And so as you look at this type of thing, you wanna go ahead and say, okay, I'm going to focus on the positive. I'm gonna get involved with things, I'm gonna do things, I won't allow myself to sit down and spend a lot of time watching TV, especially things that are not helpful, right? I'm gonna focus on development, doing the things I need to do to go ahead and find ways to transmute this energy into something more powerful. And that's one of the reasons how you can overload it. But it is, it is tough, you have an abundance of energy it's kind of it's it's so powerful, my friends. This is so powerful, and I wish I would have I would have you know known this 40 years ago. I was able to to harness it. I'm just harnessing now, and I have a lot of energy, guys. I have a lot of energy, as you can tell. And I'm 60 years old. You guys are 20 years old, 30 years old. You got abundance of energy, right? But don't waste that energy. Don't waste that energy. I, I was foolish for a lot of years because I did not take it as seriously as I should have. I, yes, I did some good things with the Fountain Youth, and I it, it made some you know it's, it's benefits that I have now. But the one I could not do, number six, and we'll talk about that in another video. The one I could not do is the retention until the last 400 and almost 75 days coming up. Okay, so the thing is, is that I I couldn't control it myself. I mean, I, you know, I'm, not, I'm probably not the last person to say you know how to control it. But all I know is that when you're sitting there and you have an abundance of energy, find things to do. Find things to do. Create some hobbies. You know, I have a bunch of hobbies that I do. Um, anything to get away from the pictures. Anything to get away from the, all the people and tempting around you. And we have a world of a huge world of temptation, right? And sex. These things sell like crazy. And people buy this stuff, and there's magazines, there's an internet, all this kind of stuff. There's people walking around, you know, half, you know, with no clothes on and things like this. You know, these people are all around. And the idea you have to do in the back of your mind is you have to look at people. I like to call them bag of bones, right? You look at people as a bag of bones. And those people then don't become as appealing to you because you know what they really are made of. And in actuality, they are. But they obviously have a spirit and all kinds of other stuff that's going along with it to tempt you into getting rid of that energy. And guys, these people are going to come after you. I'm telling you, the, the energy is, is amazing. I've experienced it every day. That people, they love you. They love you because of the energy. Now, they, can't, they don't tell you why, but it's amazing to me how the females, even at my age, treat me differently, right? I mean, they're, so, they're nice and flirtatious, all kinds of stuff. And the males... Some are not good, some are good. It just depends on who you're talking to. Many males don't, don't come across people who have a lot of their vitality. And especially someone at my age, to be able to kind of learn this secret, it's amazing. But once again, when I read that Fauna Youth book, there's a lot of those people in Tibet who lived a long time. And there's no reason why you can't live past 100 years old. People living in 110, 120. And yes, some of that's genetic, but a lot of it, my friends, is using the right lifestyle, having the retention, being able to kind of add all that together and being able to live really a really, you know, a, a, a victorious, vigorous life that you can. But yes, you're going to have a great amount of, of energy. You have to learn how to use it the right way. And like I said, get involved in activities, music, get involved with all kinds of stuff. And you can see I'm kind of an excited stage myself right now, right? I only sleep a few hours a night, <laughs> and, and I, last night I was doing videos. I'll probably do some more videos this, this morning as well. But the thing is, you have so much energy, you got to find things to do. I can't even sleep half the time. And even, at, like I said, 470 you know, 70 days, 70, some days, I've still got a, a boundless energy. And so can, I can imagine, guys, if you go a couple hundred, day, a couple hundred days here at your, at your ages, some of the younger, younger people in the, in the viewing audience should... You know, you guys are going to be incredible. You're jumping off the walls. But you got to learn how to try to harness it. 
And that was my big problem for many years. So I can understand and empathize with all of you, but I'd say try to find things constructive, working out, lifting, push yourself to the limit, exert the energy, run a few miles around the block if you have to, right? But get to the point where your mind is no longer thinking about that temptation. Get away from the temptation and try to figure out ways to block it out. If you see something, move on to something else, right? Kind of try to harness it and control it because the key is going to be how can you do that? I mean, it's almost like potential energy compared to kinetic energy, if you guys know physics a little bit. You have potential energy that's going to start moving to the front and you got to try to make sure you push it back in so that the potential energy can kind of transmute back into the system. So you have it there and the kinetic energy then it's transmuted into a positive force that you can use to, to do things, whether it's to stay in shape, whether it's to go ahead and accomplish building a building, uh, whether it's working out, you know, whether it's uh, creating a, you know, architecture design, creating all kinds of stuff. You can do lots of things creatively, but you gotta get things, find things to do. Create a hobby, do some music, whatever it might be, find things to do to take care of this energy. So guys, having great energy is a blessing. Having a great sexual energy is a blessing. You just gotta learn how to use it the right way. Napoleon Hill said this in his book. It's a blessing. Not, not everybody has this, my friends. But don't waste it away. Look at all those people who could have had millions and, and did all kinds of stuff and they blew it away and because they wasted their energy drinking and chasing women around. Just saw a nice thing on Nikola Tesla. Yeah, he didn't, you know, he he knew the the energy. You know, he knew it. He conserved it his whole life. And look at all the things he came up with. And so that's a good a good sign, a good person that can you can use as a model to find out how you can you know keep that energy. Okay? I know I was excited on this one, <laughs> but I, I empathize totally. You have abundance of energy. But find ways to use that, my friends. Use it in a way where you can actually transmute it and become victorious and battle on and fight these people that are your energy suckers, the vampires, the succubuses, the zombies who want to just take control. And they're going to come after you. They're going to come after you for your energy. But fight on, my friends. Fight on. All right, enough of the excitement today. <laughs> Until next time, battle on, victorious warriors, vigor warriors. <laughs>